guys, welcome to our bar workout today. So I have been trying to film this intro for like two weeks now. Real life, when you have three kids and a puppy. Here's Kona, say hi. She just got a bad haircut, don't mind her. <laughs> Anyways, so welcome to our workout today. This is a prenatal um, bar workout, or you can do it if you have a baby in a baby carrier. Kind of the same idea for both, or you don't want anything too bouncy, nothing like bending forward, any uncomfortable twisting or anything like that. Um, if you have a baby in a carrier, make sure your um, carrier supports their head, like I think a Moby wrap or something like that would support the baby's head. Um, but if not, and you have a newborn or a baby that doesn't have very good neck control yet, you might want to have one hand kind of behind their head, supporting their head the whole time. Um, and it'll make it more of a leg workout for you, but you know what, you just had a baby, that's okay. <laughs> and for everyone in this workout, whether you have a baby in a carrier or you are pregnant, please take it at your own speed. You can go faster than me, slower than me. You can rewind and repeat sections, you can skip sections. In this workout, there's a little bonus thigh exercise. I thought um, what I did initially might not be enough for some people, especially for those of you who are more fit. So I added a little extra thigh work. And I'll signal you when that part comes in the video and I'll have like a timer on there so if you want to skip that part you know what time to kind of scroll to to skip that part and to move on with the rest of the workout you guys will need small hand weight so you need something from one to five pounds I'm using three um, five is pretty heavy so if you lift weights a lot you might want to use those otherwise stay with the lower weights maybe one or two or three pounds you guys will also need a small core ball um, mine is nine inches I just got it off Amazon but if you don't have anything like that you guys can use for sure just a rolled up towel or a pillow so congratulations to all of you who are pregnant or who have your baby and best of luck I know it is the hardest thing you'll ever do but it's the best thing you'll ever do enjoy this workout you guys Okay, you guys, so just a technical note before we start with the warm-up. When we come into a plie here, you need your knees pressed open to the side, and we're going to try not to drop our chest and stick our butt out, okay? Tuck that pelvis under slightly and hold that as you're in the plie so we're not sticking our butt out and dropping our chest, okay? So we're going to start with the heels together, toes turned out to the side, and just the arms. We're going to lift up, drop down the middle, up, down the side. Again, up down the middle, up, down the side. Keep the arms going, and when you get comfortable with that, you're just gonna add a plie. We go down and up, and down and up. Arms up, down the middle, up, down the side. Keeping the shoulders pressed down the whole time, tuck the hips under as you go down in that plie, and again, press the knees out wide as you go down. And we're going to get deeper in that plie as we get warmer. So as the warm-up goes on, try to get lower in those legs. Good. Two more right here. Down, up, down, and up. Come down and pulse for two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So the knees stay bent, arms out long to the side. Give me four, three, two and one lift the heels and lower up up and up four more here we go four high heels three stretch long two and one from the top plie and stretch plie and stretch arms go up down the middle up down the side. We're doing these pretty slow. We don't want anything too bouncy for the baby and for you pregnant ladies too. I know I hated bouncing when I was pregnant. Good. Keep these going you guys. See if you can get a little deeper in those plies. Keeping the heels on the ground. Nice round belly arms. Four more right here. Plie and stretch. Plie and stretch. Two more. Down and up, last one, down and up. We go down and pulse for two, three, and four. Keep the hips tucked under, knees press wide out to the side. We go eight, seven, six, really small, four, three, two, and one. Squeeze and lift. Heels go up and down, up, up, and up. Four more here and three, and two, 
and one. Good. Okay, we're going to come to a second position here. So your legs go wide, toes turned out slightly, just wherever your natural turnout is. I'm just going to turn sideways so you can see here. We plie and stretch and plie and stretch. Same arms. Up, down the middle, up, down the side. Up, down the middle, and up, down the side. Now keep those shoulders pressed down away from the ears the whole time. And imagine there's a wall behind you and you're sliding down the wall. So there's no room to drop that chest and stick that booty out. Good. Keep it going. We go four. And three. And two. And one. Come down and pulse. We go down. Two three, four, really small, just up and down an inch or two, good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lift the heels, we go up, four, two, and three, and four, hold your core, find your balance, two more, up, and up from the top. We plie and stretch, plie and stretch. Arms up, down the middle, up, down the side. Good, this is our last set of plies here, so see if you can get a little bit lower. Keep the pelvis tucked under. So good, you guys, almost there. I know this is especially hard for those of you with the baby. You got all that extra weight added. You can keep these as low or as high as you need to. Give me four more. Stretch. Three. Stretch. Two more. Down. Up. Last one. Come down and pulse. We go down. Two. Three. A little lower. Five. Six. Seven. A little lower. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, heels lift, we go up, and up, and up, and up. Keep that energy up, four, and three, and two, and one, good. Drop those heels, walk those feet in. And we're just gonna inhale, arms go up, big exhale, lower down. Good, finish to our warm up. Okay, grab those weights. Now again, I'm using three pounds. You can use anything from one to five. Just another technical note. Try not to lock your knees and crunch in your lower back when we're doing this series. Press that tailbone down to the ground and we want really soft knees, okay? Roll the shoulders down and back. Okay, and we're gonna start with just a curl. So palms go to the front. We lift for two and three and four. Now I always tell my class when we do these, you don't want the elbows to sneak behind the body. I like to keep them right in front of my hip bones and always pressing the shoulders down and back, keeping that chest lifted forward. Good. Up and up. Give me four more. And three and two. Now we're only going to lower halfway right here. We go up, halfway down. Up, halfway down. So we're stopping the elbows at a 90 degree angle. Again, keeping the elbows in front of the body. Chest lifted forward, head reaching toward the ceiling. Eight, seven, six, five. Feel your hands push up against the weights. Three, two, and one. Hold it here and we circle. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, let's reverse. Other way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, reverse. Standing up nice and tall. Keep the elbows at 90 degrees. Last time, reverse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep the right arm where it is. Left arm goes up. We press all the way up all the way down, all the way up and down. So try to tap your side with the elbow. Full range of motion, palm forward. Feel the shoulders starting to burn, feel the biceps working on that right arm. 
eight more, eight, seven, six, shoulders stay down, five, good job you guys, we go four, three, two, and one, lower halfway, we press halfway down, press halfway down, so your elbow is in line with the shoulders as you come down, nice you guys, keep this going, stay strong, Focus on that right arm, don't drop the weight. We go eight, and seven, and six, and five, deep breath, you got it. Four more, and three, and two, and one. Hold it here, and we pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, halfway there. Give me eight more, seven, six, five, good, four, three, two, and one, lower down. Okay, good job you guys. Shake it out for a sec. We're gonna go back into the other side. So turn those palms to the front. We curl up and down, up and down. Again, keeping those elbows in front of the body. And if you have the baby in the carrier, make sure you're keeping the weights away from the baby's head. Good, standing up nice and tall. Eight more here. Sorry, I'm just talking to my four-year-old off camera. <laughs> Four more, up, and up. Two more, up, and up. Lower halfway, lift halfway down. Up, and down, up, and up. If you wanna make this harder, take the elbows a little bit further away from the body like you see me doing here. Eight more. Keep that chest lifted, shoulders down, always checking your posture. Good, we go four, and three, and two. Back to circles, hold it here, go around. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, reverse. Other way, two, three, four, five, six, seven, reverse. Other way, I know those biceps are on fire, stay with me and reverse, last time, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. This time left arm stays anchored in, right arm goes up overhead, and tap the elbow to the side. Up, up, and up. Good, and again, keeping the shoulders pressed down, tall, long, straight spine. Good, eight. Four more, press and press, two more. Good, now lower halfway right here. Up, halfway down, up, halfway down. Again, that elbow is stopping at shoulder height. Good, keep these going. Focus on the puppy, <laughs> it helps a few more. Eight, seven, six, Five, keep that left arm strong. Four more, you guys. And three, almost there. Two, and one, hold it here, and we pulse. Two, three, four, good. Just an inch up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, good, lower down, awesome. Okay, done with the biceps and shoulders. We're gonna do triceps, so take a lunge. Roll the shoulders down and back, and you're gonna lean forward. Now you wanna think about pulling your abs in and flattening that lower back. Even if you're pregnant, think of pulling baby in. Now if you have the carrier, you're gonna use one weight and use your other hand to support the baby's head as you lean forward. We extend and bring the weight to your hips. Out and in, out and in, out and in. Now keep your elbow back. That weight is going straight back behind you and lift the weight up before you pull it in. Up. Eight. So this is all triceps right here. You'll start to feel this in the back of the upper arm. Four more. And three. And two. And one. Hold it here and we pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Straight elbow, really small up and down. Keep that arm up behind you. 
halfway there. Nice and small, squeeze the shoulder blades together, don't round out that upper back. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we lower all the way down and up. Down and up. Again, keeping that elbow nice and straight. Straight back. Good, keep those shoulders nice and square. Eight more here. We go eight and lift. Seven and lift. Six, five. Good job, you guys. Four more. And three. And two. Hold it up. And we pulse two, three, four. This time the palm is turned up toward the ceiling. Good. Try it up to be on fire right here, halfway there. Up, 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 up. Breathe. Eight more counts. Here we go. Press for eight, seven, squeeze, six, squeeze, five, higher, four, three two and one good okay lower down and if you just did both arms then go ahead and skip to the next thing if you have the baby you're gonna do the other side so we go back and in out and in that elbow is acting as a hinge just bringing that weight into your hip and pressing back good straight back behind you eight more eight seven six Five, good, get that weight up there. Three, two, and one. Little pulses. We go up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, hinging forward at the waist, nice lunge position. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good, halfway there. Eight more, squeeze, eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All the way down, all the way up. Straight elbow. Good. Down, up, down, up. Keep these going. Eight more. Go eight and lift. Seven and lift. Six, five. Good. See if you can get it a little bit higher. Two more. Oh, look at that sweet baby face. <laughs> Hold it up. Turn the palm toward the ceiling. And we pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. See, if you're lucky, you'd be able to just fall asleep. And then maybe you can put them down and finish the workout without them. Not. <laughs> you know as soon as you put them down, they're going to start crying, right? I think we have eight more here. Go eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Come on out of it. Awesome job, you guys. Put that weight down. And we are going to go into thighs. So you need your core ball for this and your bar. And if you don't have a ball, you can use a rolled up towel or a pillow. It's going to go between your thighs right above your knees right here. Okay, so hold on to the bar. We're going to face the bar with the toes pointing forward. Squeeze the ball between your inner thighs. Pull baby towards you or your abs in and flatten out the lower back so your tailbone is going down to the ground. And in this series, we're going to be in plie with the knees bent. Whenever we're here, again, pull baby in, don't lean forward, shoulders over your hips, and tuck the tailbone under, squeezing the glutes right there. You want to squeeze that the whole time we're in plie, okay? All right, so we're going to start with straight legs, though. Hold on to the bar, roll the shoulders down and back. We lift the heels up and down to start. We go up and down, up and down. Knees are straight and we're squeezing the ball between our inner thighs. Really high heels, reach the top of the head toward the ceiling. Two more. Now adding on, lift the heels, plie, stretch and lower. Heels up, plie, stretch. And then as you plie, you tuck the hips under right here. Good, you got it. Up, plie, stretch, and lower. Four more. And three, keep those inner thighs engaged. Two more. Last one here. Up, plie, stretch. Now hold it up. Just plie and stretch. Plie 
and stretch, keeping the heels lifted the whole time. Now, if it's too much with your heels up, you guys, you can just put your feet flat on the ground. That's totally fine. But keep squeezing the ball between your inner thighs. Don't let go. Good. Eight more here. We go eight. Not going too deep. Just a few inches up and down. Good. Four more here. Four. Up. Three. Up. Two. Hold it down. Now right here, tuck the tailbone under, squeeze the glutes, and hold that. Squeeze the ball. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we're just pulling your knees together nice and tight, squeezing those inner thighs. Good. Squeeze. Two, three, four. Keep it going. Keep that hip tuck. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, hold the squeeze, pulse it down. Two, three, four. Now notice your knees stay bent the whole time. You don't come all the way up, just up and down an inch. Down, two, three, four. And you stay facing the bar. Sorry, I'm just turning so you guys can see what I'm doing. Halfway there, I know the thighs should be getting nice and warm at this point. Eight more counts. We can go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now moving on. One squeeze, one drop. Squeeze and drop. Squeeze, drop. Squeeze and drop, good. Keep nice posture in the upper body, shoulders down and back, chest lifted. Breathe. I know this is hard on those thighs. They should be burning by the end of this, especially if you have the added weight of the baby in the carrier. Three more, squeeze, two, squeeze, and one. Good. We're going to come all the way up and start from the top. Lift and lower. Just the heels up and down, straight legs. Four, three, high heels. Two, and one. Moving on. Lift the heels. Plie, stretch, and lower. Heels up. Plie, stretch, and lower. Keep it going. Tuck the hips under when you go into that plie. Up, plie, stretch, and lower. Four more. And three. <laughs> Making weird faces at the baby. She's on the side like, Mom, what are you doing? Now hold it up right here, just plie. We go down and up and down and up, squeezing the ball between your inner thighs. Good, not too deep with these, just a few inches. Tailbone tucks under as you go down. Eight more, we go eight, squeeze and lift. Seven, squeeze and lift. Six. Four more. And three. And two. And one, hold it down. We squeeze, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Knees pulling together. Knees stay bent. Your thighs should be burning at this point. Stay with me. Stay low in those legs. Good. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Halfway there. Eight more counts right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, and now hold the squeeze, pulse it down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Keep squeezing the ball between your knees the whole time. Don't let go. Nice posture in the upper body. Keep it going. Down, two, three. Hips stay tucked. Squeeze. Eight more. We go eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now one squeeze, one drop. Squeeze and drop. Squeeze, drop. And this is our final burnout. Push yourself. You can do it. Good. Tight thighs, tight tush. Eight more here. Squeeze and drop. Seven and six and five. Four more. You can do three more, two more, last one right here. 
squeeze and drop. Good. Lift all the way up, lower the heels, and move that ball. If you're pregnant, you would actually do it this way, right? Yep. <laughs> you would not be bending forward the way I just did. Go ahead and shake it out. You can roll out your ankles if you need to, whatever you guys need to do. Now, if you want to do the little bonus thigh work that I talked about in the intro, stay with me. We're going to stay at the bar. If you're ready to skip, you are done with thighs. Just fast forward to the time on the screen. And I'm going to do this next section with the baby in the carrier. Okay, so we're going to stay facing the bar. And we're going to be in a wide second position here. So your heels go under your shoulders or a little bit wider. Toes turn out to the side. You don't have to turn out this much. I just kind of got carried away from my ballet days. So you don't turn out, it should just be whatever's natural for you. And same thing, when we go down in the plie, you don't wanna drop your chest and stick your butt out. Keep that tailbone tucked under. Here we go. Heels go up and down, up and down, up. Really straight legs, press the heels forward as you come down. Four, three, two, and one. Add your plie, heels up, plie, stretch and lower. Heels up, plie, stretch and lower. And as you go down in the plie, keep your bottom above the knees. Don't go any deeper than that. Up, plie, stretch and lower. Good. And again, tucking that tailbone as you go under, or as you go down, long straight spine here. Two more. Up, plie, stretch and lower. Last one. And this time we hold the heels up, just plie. Take it down, squeeze and lift. We go down, squeeze and lift. Now think about squeezing your butt cheeks together and lifting them up as you straighten your knees. So we want a high, tight tush right there. Good, down and up. And down and up. Keeping these nice and slow so that it's not too bouncy. Come on down and hold right here. Press the knees back. We push back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Keep it going. Stay low on those legs. If you need to, for a modification, you can come up a little higher. Press two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more here. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it. Pulse it down. Two, three, Four, keep it going. My baby's trying to eat me. <laughs> Down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're halfway there with these. Remember, stay as low as you can. We're burning out those thighs. Eight more here. Press down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now knees press back and drop, press and drop, press and drop, press and drop. So just combining those two movements right here. Tall straight spine, you guys, we're almost there. Give me eight, drop, seven, drop, six, five, stay low, four, three, two, and one. Lift all the way up from the top, here we go. Reset, shoulders down and back. Lift the heels up and down, up and down, lift and lower. High heels, I know those legs are starting to feel like jello, but you got it. Three more, two, and one. Add your plie. Heels up, plie, stretch and lower. Heels go up, plie, stretch and and lower. Now this is our final set here, so give it all you've got. Push through. I know it's especially hard if you've got the baby in the carrier. That's a lot of extra weight to be uh, pushing up against, but keep moving. You've got it. If you need a modification, just don't drop down as low, okay? Two more. Up, plie, stretch, and lower. Last one. Now we stay lifted. Just plie right here. Take it down. Squeeze and lift. Take it down, squeeze and lift. So you're squeezing that tush nice and tight as you come up. Lift those butt cheeks higher. Squeeze the thighs. Good. And again, if you guys need to, especially if you have that baby in the carrier, you can put your heels on the floor. Just do it with your feet flat on the ground. 
Nice, check your posture, and make sure those hips are staying tucked under. Press the knees, back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Keep it going. Good, staying low in those legs. We should all have earthquake thighs at this point, right? You're halfway there with these. Lift that chest board, shoulders down. Eight more here, go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse it down, two, three, four. That baby is really trying to nurse. <laughs> oh, the things you pregnant ladies have to look forward to. <laughs> Good, down, 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 and down. Halfway there. Just an inch or two up and down, really small pulses. Good, you guys, eight more. We go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees press back, pulse down. Press and drop, press and drop. Knees stay bent, stay low. This is your final burnout right here. Okay, here's your countdown. We go eight and drop, seven, drop, six, squeeze that tush, four more, three, you can do it, two, and one. Good, squeeze and lift all the way up, lower the heels and walk your feet in. Good job, you guys. If you did both those thigh sections, that is awesome. You will feel it tomorrow for sure. Okay, if you wanna stretch out your quads, you're gonna pull your heel towards your bottom, keep your knees together, and we're just gonna hold it right here. You can use one hand to hold onto the bar for some stability if you guys need to. And after this, we're gonna be going on with a little bit of cardio, and then we have one section in this uh, workout that is on the mat. Go ahead and switch legs if you need to. And we're gonna do all of our butt toning on the mat today. I didn't put an ab section in this video, um, so if you're not pregnant and you would like to do one, I have a separate ad video I will link below for you. All right, and we're going to go on to cardio. The fake pregnant belly is going to be back for this one. So one side to the bar, heels together, toes turned out in first position. You're going to come into a curtsy lunge, cross the leg behind, and drop that knee low. You want to make sure your front knee is staying right over your toes. You're not bending it forward or back in any wonky sort of way, okay? So let's get you in position. First position, heels together, toes turned out. You can have one hand under your belly. You can take your arm up high. One hand behind your baby's head to support their neck if you need to. Whatever arm you guys really want to do for this, okay? So you've got one side to the bar. We curtsy and open the arm as we tap side. Curtsy and tap. Curtsy and tap. Again, keeping the front knee right over the toes. Back knee drops low. Four more here. And three. Nice and slow so it's not too bouncy. Two. Now last one here. We're gonna speed it up. We curtsy and kick. Curtsy and kick. Now I'm not going down as low in the lunge for this part, so that's up to you. If you guys wanna make it harder, you can drop as low as you want in that lunge. But keep that chest lifted, shoulders pressed down. Whatever arm you guys wanna do. Again, you can hold on to the back of your baby's head if you need to. You can take it slower if you wanna make it not as bouncy for the baby as well. Give me four more, three, two, and one, moving on. Come back to first. We circle the knee, up, curtsy lunge, kick, back to first. Circle the knee, curtsy, kick, and first. Circle, drop, kick up, and down. Circle, lunge, kick, good, keep it going. Four more right here. And for these ones, you can get that lunge a little bit lower. We're not going as fast as we just were. Two more. Last one. Circle, curtsy, kick, and down. We're gonna go right into the other side. You can just flip around. I'm moving my chair. Heels together, toes turned out. We curtsy, tap side. And curtsy, point to the side. Nice, slow, graceful arms here. It's kind of our practice for those lunges, going nice and slow. This should be your other leg. 
And in case you're wondering, that is my daughter's bicycle helmet under my shirt. <laughs> no one wants to look at a skinny person when you're pregnant, right? Last one. Curtsy, point side, add your kick. Curtsy and lift. And curtsy and lift. Down, up, down, and up. And your leg, you guys, you can take it as high or as low as you want to here. So this is kind of fun for me to whack my leg up there. It takes me back to my dancing days, but up to you how high you go. Eight more here. We curtsy and lift. Curtsy and lift. Six. Five. Try not to pull your bar over like I'm doing. Three. Two. And one. Moving on. Knee circles. Lunge. Kick and drop. Circle, lunge, kick, back to first. Big circle with the knee, full range of motion. Try to get that lunge a little deeper, drop that back knee. Good, four more. Hopefully you feel your heart rate getting up a little bit with this section, pretty short, but effective. Two more, last one here. Circle, lunge, kick, and lower. Good, okay, shake that out you guys. And we are gonna go on to our mat work. This is our butt toning. Now we have several different options. You're gonna need your core ball or your towel, and you're gonna be on all fours here with a ball behind one knee. If you have the baby, take them out of the carrier and you can put them right under you just like this so they can be close to mommy, see what you're doing. If you are pregnant and do not wanna be on your hands and knees, you can put your forearms on a chair or a coffee table instead, keeping really good posture like I'll talk about in a sec, and you can do the whole thing from there. If you're in the third trimester and you're like, no way am I getting on the floor, you can actually do it standing too. Just make sure you're not standing up straight all the way. You're kind of leaning forward like you see me doing here, so you've got room to get that leg up behind you. Now, a technical note, as you lift your leg behind you, like we're going to be doing a lot of, you don't want to tilt forward in your hips here, okay? You see how my back is arching? You want to think about pulling baby in towards you. Pull your abs in and flatten out the lower spine and keep that flat lower back as you lift the leg. Very um, minimal movement in our hips. Okay, so flex your foot, squeeze the ball, and we're gonna lift the knee. We go up and down, and up and down. Squeeze that tush as you lift the knee up. Bottom of the foot goes up toward the ceiling. Up and down, up and down. Good job, you guys. You'll start to feel this burn in your hamstrings and your tush in a sec. Eight more here, you guys. Shoulders down away from the ears. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good, four more. We go up and down, up and down, two more. Now last one, you're gonna hold the knee up, squeeze the ball three times. Squeeze, two, three. Squeeze, two, three. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Nice and tight, pulling your heel towards your bottom. Keep that knee lifted. Nice long straight back. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, from the top. Drop the knee and lift. And drop and lift. Good, now I'm doing it pretty slow so I can try to keep the control in my uh, lower back, try to keep it straight. If you guys need to, you can take it a little bit faster, especially if you're not pregnant. All about technique here. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Great job, you guys. Hopefully you're starting to feel that touch burn a little bit. Three. Two and one, hold it up right here. Squeeze the ball and press the knee. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze, lift, squeeze and lift. Good, so again, heel going up toward the sky. Keep that knee lifted the whole time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Lower all the way down with control. Moving on. Stay where you are. I'm just turning so you can see me. You're going to point your foot instead of flexing it this time. Squeeze the ball and you're just going to lift your knee to the side. Little clamshells. Up and down. Up and down. 
or dog at a fire hydrant, whatever you want to call it. Good, making sure your knees are staying under your hips. Your knee is just lifting right out to the side, not forward or back at all, okay? Right in line with the other knee. Good, up and down, up and down. And again, you can take this at your own speed. If you need to go faster or slower, that's totally fine. Make it your workout. Keep going, up and up. Eight more here. My wrists are getting sore, so I'm gonna make a fist. That's a good modification if you guys um, have arthritis or bad wrists. You can make a fist and balance on your fists instead. Anytime you're on the mat, really. Two more. Up and up. Good, okay, done on this leg. Move that core ball. Feet together, knees wide. You're gonna sit back in kind of a modified child's pose. I'm sure there's an official name for this, I just don't know it. So if you're pregnant, your belly is gonna go right between your legs. Just stretch it out for a sec. If you wanna keep your legs together and do a normal child's pose, if you're not pregnant, that's totally fine. Just take a minute and stretch it out. Let all the tension go out of that lower back. Take a few nice deep breaths. We are almost done with our workout, you guys. We're gonna come on to the other side. Okay, so sit on up. I'm just switching to the other side so you can see my leg. So the ball goes behind the opposite leg this time. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Flex your foot and squeeze the ball. Pull baby in towards you, flatten out that lower spine. Here we go. Knee goes up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down again keeping that back nice and flat no movement in your hips okay good you got it up and down keep squeezing the ball nice and tight shoulders press down away from the ear squeeze the shoulder blades together nice broad back three two and last one hold it up triple squeeze Squeeze, two, three. Squeeze, two, three. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep your knee lifted. This is our final burnout with our tush. This whole workout is really hard. You guys are doing awesome. If you made it this far, you should be very proud of yourself. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Four, three, two, and one. From the top, we drop and lift. Good, knee drops and lifts. Down and up and down and up. We're about halfway there with these, keep going. Again, you can adjust the tempo if you need to. Keep that knee lifting up behind you. Eight more, we go down and up. Down and up, six, five. You got it, you guys, four more. Three, two, and one. Hold it here, one squeeze, one lift. Here we go. Squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze, and lift. Good, just an inch or two up and down with that knee. Good, eight more here. Seven, six, five. Good, keep that lower back nice and flat. Keep that knee lifted, two more. Squeeze, lift, squeeze, and lift. Lower down, point that toe, squeeze the ball. Lift up and down, up and down to the side. Just turning so you can see. Keep it going, squeeze and lift and lower. Lift and lower. Nice job, you guys. Now you don't have to lift your knee too much. Kind of like we did with our kicks in the cardio section. You can take it as high or as low as you need to. We all have different flexibility levels, different fitness levels. Final stretch right here, eight more. We go eight and down. Seven, six, five, four more, you can do it. Three more, two, and one, lower all the way down. Good job, you guys, move the ball. We are done with our workout. Great job, you guys. Okay, feet together, knees wide. Go ahead and sit on back. You can leave your hands reaching out long or come onto your elbows like you see me doing here. 
If you want a different kind of stretch, you can even take your hands over to the side, hold it there, walk your hands over to the other side, hold it there, whatever you guys feel like doing. And don't forget, after this workout is over, it's already really long, so I didn't put a stretch in here. I filmed one, but it just made the workout, the whole video, way too long. So do an extra little stretch when this ends. And thank you guys so much for working out with me today. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you guys thought, and I'll see you next time. Do you want to say hi, too? You say hi to everybody? Yeah. Kona likes to do bar, too. Do you like to do bar? You're so good at it. You're my big helper, aren't you? You help me so much. Yeah. Okay, say bye-bye.